I dreamed that it was a leech sucking the blood out of her collective black home. The body sat in the chair, slouched over the table, with their tongue hovering over the cereal bowl. It vomited into the bowl all of the thoughts and dreams and desires they never got to do. And I sat upright and numb, watching at the other end. My grandmother, she didn't know what to do. For a sick monster who ate like a child, who she welcomed into her home, only told her granddaughter that she listened to too many black artists, dressed like a prostitute, and loved too hard. I dreamed that my blackness was the only thing to free me from their whiteness, their lies, yet I allowed myself to self-sabotage through the years under the guise of partnership. It's okay to feel upset over it and if you need to slow down and process how you're feeling. If it makes you feel any better, I think you've been the most passionate and kind person I've met on campus by far. And I wouldn't have felt welcomed here if it wasn't for you. So anybody who says anything doesn't know what they're talking about. There's so many, like, there's so many choices that we make every day. And every day there's an opportunity cost with each choice. Cho, cho, cho. Cho, cho, cho. For real, for real. Sometimes I think I spend too much time on like, this is not like, too much time on like academics or like on focus on the future That's versus too, bro. on the now. Like I realize like a lot of my conversations with my mother like, what is the most ambitious thing you want to do and how are you going to be doing it tomorrow? Not to, yeah, actually today, not even tomorrow, today. Um, and it's anxiety inducing sometimes. We all operate the same way and need breaks. Just look at just as Negro living in a world where everybody thinks I'm dumb. A conscious ass Negro living in a world where everybody thinks I'm dumb.